Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle for it, and welcome back to Project Zomboid, where our second character, second character, because our first character died horribly, uh, is now in here with a few bandages on, apparently. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to do something about um, surviving again. I so hope that I don't get murdered in this one, because that would be most unfortunate. I, I want, What I want to do is I want to try and read up on as many little books and stuff as I can because uh, the, the more we can read uh, the more we can gain in skill right that's that's what was was said so we should be able to to get loads of skills by by that I wonder if we, if we can watch the TV uh, and and do the same thing I think that we can device options first of all turn it down uh, what's this? Minor pain. Oh yeah, we were in pain, weren't we? Hmm. <laughs> That's not helpful. Okay. Uh, right. And antique television. Lovely. What's all this? Options. Uh, as uh, there's news. There's the news channel. Does does that help? Doesn't seem to, does it? I thought that you could like sit in front of this TV and watch it. Evidently not. I'm in pain anyway, so uh, apparently. So, yeah, we're in trouble. Uh, how about advanced mechanics? No, I don't think we're going to be able to learn that one. <laughs> A normal book, maybe. Alright, well, there doesn't appear to be anything else here, does there? I mean, there's loads of food and stuff, so we should... Ah, oh, I've not got a pen, have I? I still need a pen. Okay, so we need a pen somewhere. I don't know where we're going to get a pen. We're going to get a pen somewhere, but first we need to continue watching and looking for things. So let's look around for starters to make sure that we've got no zombies around here. None? Okay, good. And then check the map. Uh, there's a place over there. And we, As I said, we still can't mark things. Can I move the map? Yes. Right, let's go over there then and see what that place is. Hopefully in a way that's not going to get us zombied. Right. Ah, oh, there's two places. I thought there was only one place on the map. Interesting. Ah, uh, some sort of shed. Oh, are we at an air, air, air thing? An air base? This does look like some sort of hangar, doesn't it? So if we go in there, maybe we'll find some useful things. It has, it has to be a hangar of some sort. Or, a, or just a garage, I guess. There's no other things around here that's good no zombies there's gravel bags I don't know why we'd want gravel bags oh there's a hand axe interesting a seed bag hmm curious there's a garden saw hmm okay well this is definitely something we're gonna have so let's grab that good good uh, now that's where's that being put has it been put in a uh, it's been put in our normal equipment stuff hmm it might be an upgrade from the uh, from the uh, other thing, so let's go with that for the for our primary weapon, and see what else is around. Uh, fertilizer? No, no, we don't need fertilizer. Not as far as I'm aware. Not at the moment, anyway. But this is a great place for gardening stuff, by the looks of it. Nothing in the barrel. What's this? Anxious and on edge, with the minor pain and the panic and the, and the everything. Okay, I wonder if this, this character goes berserk at any any stage. Maybe. We'll just have to see. Alright. We've never had a character that's, like, just been bitten a lot and then just not not had anything but pain for a basic, basically like this. Uh, so this is going to be uh, this is going to be interesting to, for, to try out. I wonder how long before zombification, because I don't think that this character is going to survive. I really don't, because I really do think that this character is uh, is is going to be zombified by now. Got bit, got bit ages ago, so there's good good chance. Right, you, you just walked off. Interesting. Maybe I can sneak up here. Oh no! Hi. Okay, this isn't as good as the two-handed axe as I had in the previous uh, run-through. It is a one-handed axe. Definitely not as good. Aye, aye, what's that? Unpleasantly hot. 
Ah. Uh-oh. Oh, bother. Open the window, let him out. Can't let him out. Won't, won't let him out. Okay, open the door. Door's locked. Okay. I know he's there. It's not a surprise. <laughs> it was like, ah, look at the zombie. You're in trouble now. But no, 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 definitely not. We, we, we already knew it was there. And that's going to break that window, isn't it? Ruin the house of security. You broken the window yet? No, you still um, You're rubbish. <laughs> Even I can break a window faster than that. Okay, no, that's also locked. Is there just no window that's open around here? I wonder if you can place rags over the broken window bits uh, and make it so that it does the... Th nah, that's, that's also locked. Interesting. Is every single window going to be locked? Open the windows. No. Sounds like he's licking the window. Aha! Uh -huh, we are in! Open the door. Where are you, zombie? Stop mauling that window! Clonk! Clonk again. Yeah, this, this axe is rubbish. <laughs> very rubbish axe! Okay, so we got a, We have a very rubbish axe. I don't know whether this one's worthwhile as a weapon at all. Uh, cooking for intermediates. Hmm. Uh, this book gives you an XP multiplier of, uh, for level 3 to 4. We haven't even got level 1 yet, have we? Where's that? What's all this one? Dirty bandages. Oh! I need to change my bandages. Well, there's a thing that I wasn't told. Okay, fine. I will change my bandages. First of all, I need to clean my rags. Clean all of my rags. Get to it. Good. Well cleaned. Uh, and then we should change the bandages, right? Remove the bandages. And replace them with new bandages. Rip sheet, this. Good, good. Done. And this, again, remove the bandages. And then replace them with new bandages. Excellent. Good. All right. And now we can clean the dirty ones. Can we clean the dirty ones? Yes, we can. Clean all of them. Good. Alright, so d d he he's pretty amazing at getting blood off bandages. That's good. That has to be said. Because uh, you would have thought that that would have taken ages. Okay, we've got food. Uh, we've got food in our pack, though. So let's have the mushrooms. Open the can of mushrooms. I've got three cans of mushrooms. And one can of mushrooms. What? Mushroom soup. And then eat the can of mushrooms. I'm guessing that you could probably cook this, but uh, we're just going to eat it uh, raw. All of it's cold. Because that's the best way to eat mushrooms. In mushrooms too cold. That's, uh, that's apparently. According to this. Okay, uh, put in container. Nope. Uh, take pills. And pills are taken, so minor pain is going to go away, maybe? Go on! You don't have to be minor, minorly in pain. I've done the thing. Yeah. Drink from the tap. Excellent. Ah, the minor pain's gone. Can't do anything about the slightly on edge thing. Having been, um, having been bit, I don't think that there's much that we can do about that at all. There's a lot of cupboards here. Hmm. Well, this place is full of food again, so that's a great, great start. There's no pen around. Oh, look, it was all set up for dinner. Mmm, there's a TV dinner here, in, in fact. Okay, what else is around? Nothing much. Uh, what I want to do is put the baseball bat on again, because the baseball bat was... A, it was better, because it's two-handed, and you, you can get more um, uh, effort behind it. Ah, kids' room. Is there any... Uh, no, there's only tissues. First aid? Why is that first aid? Equipped to mute sneezes and coughs. You can sneeze and cough? What? Is this a thing? I didn't know this was a thing. We are learning so much more. Always learning so much more. Sneezes and coughs? That's, that's fascinating. Okay, this is in here, nothing. Alright. I think we've searched this place now. And we haven't found any... Uh, inter we haven't found any, like, 
lower level books. We've, we've... Ah, we might have found some more rags though. Rip cloth, all of them. Good. I wonder what I can get if I break down some of these. I might be able to break these down now that I've got an axe. Disassemble. Uh, name, uh, hammer, ball, ball, pin, hammer, no, stone hammer. No, none of these are the tool that I have. The garden saw. I could have used the garden saw. The, I didn't get the garden saw. No, I didn't bring the garden saw. I brought the useless axe instead of the garden saw because who wants a garden saw when you can have a useless axe? No. Never mind. <laughs> and my bandage is dirty again. Mm. Well, we have more bandages that we need to clean now, don't we? So let's clean some more bandages. Uh, where are they? Wash. Uh, socks, school bag. No, no, where's the cleaning the bandage thing? Um. No. <laughs> All right, fine. Remove that bandage and put a new one on. Then, then we'll have the option to clean bandages. Right, rip sheet. Yes. All right, so that's all done. Brilliant. Now we can clean the rags. Why can we only clean one? We had like three. Yeah. Hungry again? Uh, honestly. Uh, eat the cereal then. Eat cereal. All of the cereal. Oh, now you're tired. Can't win. <laughs> okay. In that case, we'll do this. And then we'll go out and search for more places. Yes, I am full. Now I can go and sleep somewhere. Uh, how about here? This will do. Sleep! Yes, I want to sleep. With the window open. Yes. <laughs> this was a bad idea. Uh, my bandages are dirty again. It doesn't take long. What's this? Unpleasantly hot. And it's chucking it down outside. Interesting. And now we need to remove our bandages and replace them again. I wonder if this is ever going to heal. Ripped. Infected. Oh no. Uh, what do I do about an infected um, thing? What do I do about an infected thing? Can I stick cleaning products on a bandage? Here's an idea. There's cleaning products somewhere. There is. Uh, grab. Let's see if we can do that. I mean, obviously, I don't know whether this is a good idea at all, but, you know. You never know. You might find it is. Clean the sink. No, clean the, the thingy. Now what? Can I... Let's see what we can do if we, we select the cleaning product. Nothing! Okay. I don't know then. Uh, put in container? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get rid of that. Alright, fine. Okay, so we are queasy! Take things easy. Oh, no. <laughs> We are definitely going to turn into a zombie, definitely. It's just a matter of when, isn't it? Ooh. This is scary rain. Okay, interesting. But if we die and, uh, and, and we get replaced by the next person, then we'll have searched this little area down here and uh, our other zombie is over here. So, we have a massive map to uh, to explore, uh, and uh, yeah, there's plenty to do if we get to, if we get zombied. What's in here? Just, just rubbish. Okay, fine. Oh, heck! Okay, there's, there's several zombies now. Right, so let's get going then. Because they are very much alive and around. Well, not alive, but they're definitely around. You see any zombies now? Oh, they're coming over here still. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. It, it they do say quite clearly that running is a terrible idea, uh, and yet I seem to find myself running on a, a regular occurrence. Okay, there's somebody in here, but I just need to get the zombies off my back, so maybe we'll be all right. Obviously, we're not going to be all right. Definitely zombified, right? So, yeah. <laughs> okay, not there. Maybe we can go in there and see if there's anything fun. Open the window. Oh, you're kidding me. Why do all of the windows have to be locked? <laughs> That's what... 
No? Okay. It's also locked. Hmm. Still don't see any zombies now, so we're, we, we must have lost them. But the question is, what do they do after you've lost them? Do they continue to charge in your direction, or what? Oh, the door's wide open. Great. Hello there, zombie. I will soon be joining your ranks. But, at the moment... What the heck? You are taking a lot of hits. Good. <laughs> wow. All right, uh, let's close the door. Good. And then... TV's off. I wonder if there's any good books. There's no point in really um, making this character much better because obviously she, he's dead. He's dead for, for certain. But uh, yeah, we can find out what is around that might be useful for the next character. And I guess that's basically it, isn't it? You just find everything that is, is around for the next character and then eventually you'll make a character and they'll have all access to so many things... Uh, that they couldn't possibly go wrong. Uh, let's rip all of this. And get more of these. I'm slowly gathering more and more things over here. Okay, remove that. And replace it with a new one. Rip sheet. Definitely infected. Uh, still infected. I just I just don't know how to deal with the infection thing. I mean, antibiotics is usually a good a good thing for dealing with infections, isn't it? But, I don't think we're going to get any of those. Unless we find a, a pharmacy or, a, or something like that, then uh, we're, we're all out of luck. Oven mitts. Interesting. Now, I mean, so far in, the, in this game, every time I've used the oven, I've just bunged my hands in there and taken the things out of the place without worrying about that at all. Uh, let's see. Unpleasantly hot. Yep. In pain. Yep. Okay. Nervous wreck. Terrified. Queasy. It's, I'm guessing these are all symptoms of becoming a zombie. <laughs> I'm looking a tad peaky. That's uh, that's that's the current situation. Yeah. Right. What's in here? Anything? Nothing. Okay. How about this this end table over here? Nope. Nope. Okay. Nothing in there. Good. Fair enough. But this has got its curtains closed, so it's a great place to sleep if I need to. Which I don't, currently. Uh, nope. Nope. None. Okay. Around here. And a comb! Ah, yes. I'm sure I'll feel much better after I comb my hair with my ban infected bandage. Yeah. Is there anything in here? No. A paper clip! Hmm. I always look at these things and I think uh, that that's that's just going to be totally useless. And then later I can find that they're not useless at all. Yeah. Alright. Uh, no, I think that that's everything in here, isn't it? If I had a pen, I would mark it on my map. But uh, no pen, so let's just go out. There is, however, a little house... Oh, well, no, say a house. I mean a, 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 a garage... No, not a garage. It's not even big enough for a garage. Shed. It's a shed and it's locked. Uh, is there a window? There is a window. Right next to a tree or something. Can I get in there? Ah, it's still locked. Rubbish. Okay, it looked like it was only, only a place for storing like cans of stuff anyway. So it might be not a problem. What was that noise? Whatever it is, I don't like it. Now all we need to do is decide where we're going to turn into a zombie. Uh oh Or alternatively, when we're going to turn into a zombie, because uh, evidently we're being chased. Yep, two of them. I don't want to be chased by two zombies. One zombie I can handle easy peasy. Two zombies a little bit more difficult, and considering our current state, uh, I'm not entirely convinced that we would do so well. As I said, one zombie's easy peasy, but yeah. Hi. <laughs> Bash. Bash again. And then death. Okay, you're dead, but I've still got two zombies after me. Run, 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 run. I want to see what's on the map before I die horribly. Where are we? Wolves. I wonder if there's actually wolves in the game. I mean, 
the, the, the you can hear them. So if you can hear them, maybe they're there. Oh, there's a, there's a zombie over there. I can't spend the time to look at my map, so I'll just follow this road. We are definitely going to die. And then I'm going to start a new character who's going to have the same traits as this one. Because I really like the traits for this one. Uh, but, uh, yeah, obviously we 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 goofed and ended up with, with, with very much zombification. What's that? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Our bandage is dirty. Of course it is. I've not changed it in the last couple of minutes. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to look at that. Uh, map now. I can't hear any zombies anyway. Now I can! Okay. This away. I don't think that there's any difference between the zombies during the day and the zombies at the night, unlike um, dying light and such like. Ooh, hello. Uh oh. Hi. I just want to borrow your house for the night. If you don't mind. Go, go. Please just just stop. I don't think I've got much um oh dear. Uh, okay, uh Um ah, I'm gonna have to fight them. Bonk. As long as I keep backing up. Okay, and actually have some effort in me. Come on. I'm just gathering uh, maladies at the side. Okay. Oh, they're both over. You get to go first because you tried to get up. Get off me. I'm already bitten. There's no point. There's no point, zombie. I'm, go I'm gonna die anyway. Oh, no. you munched again. Get off me! Okay. Clonk, clonk, clonk. Good. I am determined to survive a little bit longer. Would you just clonk and get get deaded? Come on! Wow. I mean, obviously, I'm 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 in such a bad state that there's very little chance that I'm going to get further. How's how's this? We're unpleasantly hot, heavy load, in pain, severe critical injuries. No, we're going to die. <laughs> Nervous wreck, moist, bleeding, feeling a little sad. Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> no, we we are we are done for. I mean, look, we've got that much life. What can we do about that? Are we actually going to be able to repair all of this by using sheets? The magical world of sheets. That's 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 how we're solving this. We're critically imaged, uh, highly critically damaged. Yeah, that would be bad, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, rip sheets again. Maybe we'll get to search the building anyway. Maybe. I can't. We are. We are basically dead already. We we know this. <laughs> right. Is there a window here? Yes, there's a window here. Come on then. I'm just curious to know how long someone in this bad estate can uh, can keep going. What's what's around? Can I turn on the lights? It's very dark in here. Oh, there's an upstairs. Awesome. And the upstairs is very dark as well. Hmm. <laughs> There's a light over here. Can I turn that on then? Light. Turn off. No. Turn it on. That's it. Good. Right. Is there anything in there? No. 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 There isn't. Can I sleep it off? Can, 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 is this a thing? I can't sleep. Experiencing too much pain to sleep. Ah. Hmm. That's probably something to do with the critical injuries. Well, we'll have to see how we're doing with the critical injuries in the next episode because I'm all out of time. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.